Hey, it's just you today. Huh. I wonder if, if other guy did, got, got sick of sitting. Huh. Anyway, yeah. Well, at least I'm up. I made it to my, to, to my, to my episode, so you got me there. But, you know, I don't know what to do for an episode today. I, I, uh, you know, to the right of the land was great. It was a cool little, it was a, it was a cool introduction to the season. But I'm just trying to think of a different one, and I was thinking, I don't know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, can you help me out? And that's what you usually, you guys tend to be really good at helping me out at those kind of things. Oh, hey, look who woke up. Well, anyway, it's a good thing you actually, you know, you made it to this episode. But, hey, like, then you're super right in that one was not too bad. But, uh, hey, dude, you should do, you know, it's been a while since you've done the Turtles game. Like, I think you've done, like, Turtles 3, Turtles 4, Turtles 2. Hmm. That's like almost all of them. Oh, and you got Hyperstone Heist. Like, is it time? Can you do the NES one yet? Have you done the NES one yet? I know it's like, you know, really, 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 really hard at times, but you know, but you should totally do that for an episode, man. Just saying. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. You, you, you heard it, folks. This next episode will be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo Entertainment System today on Power Up. So let's, let's break out the pizza, get, 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 get out your katana blades or sai or nunchucks or bow staff to thwack some fuck clan baddies once more. So let's roll those fancy credits and get to saving New York. Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES was released in 1989. In it, the game starts out you have to rescue April O'Neil from Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, other missions have you go to dive in, into the Hudson River to defuse some bombs, as well uh, as, as re rescuing Spinner, and also to get the life transformation gun. I know, funny name for it, but the life transformation gun to turn Splinter back to human. Huh. Now that's an odd plot. That's an odd storyline. But eh, we'll, 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 we'll run with it. <laughs> you start out playing as Leonardo, but you can switch between any of the four turtles at any time, as each turtle has their own life bar and has their own, has their own range for their weapons. For instance, Leonardo has a decent range and decent power and so yeah, that's cool. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of something bad to say, but that's... He's an all-around average turtle. He's an all-around average reach, average what have you. Ha! Huh. And Raphael is quick, but little short range. Not as... not range... the range isn't as good. Whereas Michelangelo has a decent range, but not as good as Leonardo. But... and he can't... and he, yeah, not quite as good. Ha! Huh. Raz Donatello has the best range and is the most has the most powerful weapon, his bow staff. And by the way, Michelangelo of course has his nunchucks. Don't know, of course, you probably, if you're watching this review, you probably knew that already. Uh, but anyway, but though, but though, each of these turtles ass act as lives. So if one turtle ever run out of life for that turtle, he gets captured and you can't use him anymore. But there are places in the game where you can rescue your captured friends, which is neat. Th this game has two di different viewpoints. There's the overhead, or the or I call the overworld viewpoint, where you go from the top down and control your turtle that way. And then there are the, the side-scrolling areas, which contains most of the action you'll be, which you'll be fighting on. So let's say like you'll start out like, you know, at the, at the beginning of the game, you'll start out, you know, walking around. 
But then if you go into a sewer or something, or a, or a, or a building, then it'll shift from the top view to a side-scrolling view. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, what I should touch on is this game is can be very, very difficult. Certain di 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 different YouTubers, such as most notably the Angry Video Game Nerd, have, have been criticizing this game for its really tough as nails difficulty. And even in this review, just so I, just so I can show you as much of this game as I could, Using my Retron 5, I I, I did use you use a little uh, some 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 game enhancement codes to help to help get to help get through this game. So, but yeah, this so this game can be really really hard, especially in the underwater level where there is a lot of stuff to take away your health. So yeah, and it's like and again and it doesn't get any better than that. So, but there's, you know, so personally, if you can make it without, if you can make it without Game Genie and stuff, all right. And actually, the furthest I've made it is, I think, to the third or fourth area without Game Genie stuff. But for the sake of this review, just to show you as much of the game as I can in this review, I did use that disc so I wouldn't die, so I wouldn't die a whole lot. <laughs> And also in this game, to note, there are different items, there are sub, besides each turtle's weapon, there's also a special item you can get, like shurikens, boomerangs, and a special weapon, I think it's a, I forget, some kind of scroll, but it's really powerful. It can even be used on bosses to do devastating damage, although they're kind of tough to find. But if you game, if you go online and game fax it and, and go to walkthrough, you, 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 you should be able to find what you need. And also to note, I find it funny, even though this game was supposed to be based on the t on the cartoon, like besides the Bebop, Rocksteady, the Mousers, Shredder, and that you know those people, like there's like the enemies are like completely random. There's like a flame guy. There's a there's like a Foot Clan balloon bomb thing or what? I don't know what to call the dang thing. <laughs> There's like a robot or something when you shoot it its head goes off and you have to shoot the head or hit the head or whatever but like these enemies are way out of left field it's like who's like who thought of these like why not put like foot clan soldiers or more foot clan soldiers and other enemies related to the cartoon you know that's just insane although get me wrong the, the, the enemies are still can be still be pretty tough to beat at times and it's, it's not like, it's not like, it's, it's bad. But you think for people playing this game back, back when this came out, and seeing that there's no, like, there's not much recognizable enemies from the cartoon, it, it would be interesting, I would, I bet they'd be a little confused, so to speak. Well, anyway, if you do want to get this online for your, for any console, you know, I would, I, I did learn that it was on the Wii Virtual Console for 600 Wii points, but in 2012, they, they took it off the Wii Shop, so I think it was due to a licensing issue, you know, I think it was even lucky they got it on the Wii Shop in the first place. So, sadly, I don't think, um, so I don't think you can, you can get it that way. So, I would highly, so, you know, but I don't think it's too expensive as a cartridge. But of course, if you can't, if the cartridge is too expensive, then to me, by all means, like find an emulator or something, you know, and play it. Because although, although to me, it, it can be a little difficult. And to me, as I mentioned, I do use Game Genie or so, or a game and a cheat device to help get, to, 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 to get me through it. And to me, that's how I enjoy it because then I won't die as much or at all. <laughs> but to me, to me, I'll, I mean, maybe someday I'll play it through regularly. But I think I'll die too much. And to me, I, I just want to enjoy the game, and that's how I enjoy it. But I don't know what you can do besides downloading an emulator for it to to, to get a copy of this or to get an NES game. So for this time, I can't really do give you much. Give all you pop fans much help in that respect. But anyway, I guess, you know, I, I myself, even though with that, you know, I, 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 I enjoy this game, even though using, you know, the, the codes for it, but, but hey, if you want, but to me, I, I, I still like it. It's fun to, 
run through, run, run, run it through a couple, run, 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 run it through every now and then. And yeah, I thought it was fun. And hey, and if you're really, if you're really good, and if you're a really good gamer, maybe you can play it through all the way. <laughs> so anyway, I give my recommendation, my recommendation scale of recommended. Hey everybody, as usual, if, if you live if you live in Minnesota, especially in the Twin Cities area, please sure to visit my my good friends at Level Up Games. Their store is the star picture is there, their info is there, and also at their store they have besides games, something besides video games, they have tabletop board games, uh, collectible card games, they got. You know, other they got comic books, graphic novels, a cool little arcade. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Among other things, and they only have like cool collectibles also. So, again, as I mentioned, that stuff is there. The place is there. So, give them a look if you live in the area. And also, if you're seeing this on YouTube, it's Peachy Cake. And if you like what you see, and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Please do so. And also, I have a Twitter account, a Instagram account, and a Facebook fan and group page, and all that stuff down below as well. Well, anyway, as always, thank you so much for thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. Power up. episode again. Well, now, now that I'm only doing these every other month now, I can like play more of them and maybe I can review some more. Yay! But now, what to play? What should I play for, what should I play for the next review maybe? Although I got a while. Uh, wow, what to do, what to do, all these fantastic software titles. Uh, Huh. Hey man, what you doing there? I, trying to trying to pick for another game, trying to pick for, for another game to play or something? Dude, I think you should get out of the house for a little bit. Me, me and the other clone, dude, we're gonna we're gonna head up to, to like rack. We hear rack shack is really delicious. I mean, we might go like bowling after us or something. Hey, dude, you welcome to come along, man? Cause you, you seem kind of you seem kind of. You know, you seem, you know, you don't want to be a house hermit now, do ya? And I figure, you know, you can get some ribs, probably try to, try, try to, we'll see, we'll see how good you are at bowling as you say you are, sir. But we're leaving right now. You're welcome to come along. You're welcome to. Wow. You guys are going to go to Rack Shack? And then bowling? Huh. I just might, I could use to get out of the house for a little bit. That's very, that's very nice of you, although it, I thought you guys were like ghosts or something. Guess not. So, well, all right. Well, anyway, uh, so for, you know, uh, for all of you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next episode of Power